Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall talk about the hermeticity of quantum mechanical operators. In quantum mechanics, the system is described by using the wave function psi, and psi satisfies the Schrodinger equation. That means to get psi, we have to solve the Schrodinger equation. This is the Schrodinger equation of a quantum mechanical particle of mass m moving in a potential v. Psi contains all the information about the system. In quantum mechanics, to extract the information from the wave function, operators are used. These operators correspond to physically observable quantities. Here are the some examples of operators. There are many. The first one is the position operator. This one is the momentum operator. T hat is the kinetic energy operator. Finally, H hat is the Hamiltonian operator. Here the hat is used so that it can be distinguished as operators. Now to get the information from the wave function operators act on the function here gamma omega hat is an operator acting on the function and it returns the eigenvalue that is the physically observable quantity so if it were the momentum operator we will have momentum which is a number now these operators follow some important rules. They are linear and Hermitian. A linear operator follows these sets of rule. This is the first three are simple. The last one means that if there are two linear operators, a hat and b hat, when their product act on the function, we have to follow some rule that means that the closest one to the function will act on the function first and then the other one will act on this result so a b may not be same as b a that is in quantum mechanics the order of the operator matters now let's come to the hermeticity an operator omega hat is said to be Hermitian if it follows this equation. That means if it can be moved from the second one to the first one in this way. So it was not, uh, it was acting on here psi when it is taken to the phi, the complex conjugate of the result after it acting on the phi is taken. So if an operator follows this equation, then we say that this operator is Hermitian. Now, before going into the details, we like to introduce a briefer notation. Here the integrals of two functions are, are described with a simpler notation. So psi star, phi star psi the integration of this is written with this one so the first of phi comma psi with first brackets so if a or a complex cons constant if a or multiplied to the phi when you take it out we have to take the complex conjugate because if a or here it would be here with phi so the complex conjugate of a are used but if a are multiplied with the second one, psi, then we can just simply take it out. Now with this notation, if an operator omega hat obeys this rule, then we say it, it is Hermitian. But for an operator, if we get something like this, then when we take it from the first one to the second one, if we get a negative sign, then it's called anti-Hermitian. The Hermitian operator has some properties. 
that is the expectation value of the Hermitian operator is real. Also, the eigenvalues of the Hermitian operator is real. And if a Hermitian operator has many eigenfunctions, they can be organized to satisfy orthonormality. That means they may not be orthonormal by default, but they can be organized. By orthonormality, we mean that if we take an overlap of a function with the other one, that should be zero. But the overlap of that function with itself should be one. That is the functions are normalized and the overlap between the function is zero. And also these eigenfunctions can be organized or can be used to construct a reasonable wave functions. We will discuss it in details. First, we look at the, the first property that the expectation value of a Hermitian operator is real. So from now on, we assume that omega hat is a Hermitian operator. So the expectation value of an operator is defined this way. This is with the shorter notation. If we take the complex conjugate of this one, we have to take the complex conjugate of this function. So we have taken the complex conjugate. That means this is the complex conjugate of this integrand. Now this is, uh, we can view this as the product of two function psi star is one and omega psi is the other one. This is because if we have, an, have a function and the operator act on the function, the result is also a function. For example, if we have x square plus two, we multiply it with some number, say two, then we have two x square plus four, this is also a function. And if we differentiate x square plus two, then we have two x, that is also a function. So when we act an operator on a function, the result is also a function. So since this is the product of two function, we can write it like this way. So the complex conjugate of psi star is psi. And this is the complex conjugate of omega psi is used. Now, since this is the product of the two functions, we can change their order. So after changing the order, we have this one. But from the definition of the Hermitian operator, we know that the Hermitian operator can be moved from the second one to the first one in this way. So we write like this. Now this is nothing but the expectation value of omega. So we have this one. Here we arrive there, the complex conjugate of the expectation value is same as the expectation value. But we know that if z is a complex number, that complex conjugate will be like this. And if they have to be the same, then b need to be zero. That means if the complex conjugate of a number is same of a is same as is as the original one, then is has to be real. That means there is the expectation value of omega is real. So we proved the first one. The expectation value of Hermitian operator is real. Now we like to prove the second one. The eigenvalues of Hermitian operator are real. So let's assume the omega omega hat has an eigenfunction psi of x with an eigenvalue omega. Then if we act the omega hat on the wave function psi, we get this eigenvalue. Now, if we take the expectation value, we have this one by definition as we defined earlier. So omega hat psi is omega psi. So we write it like this. And since this is the omega is with the second number, we can take it 
out without taking its complex conjugate. So we have this one. So now if we assume that psi is normalized, then this product or this integ integral is 1. So finally we are left with omega. Now we already know that the expectation value of the Hermitian operator is real. So of course this omega, the eigenvalue, have to be real. Because if this is real and this is imaginary, they cannot, this is complex, they cannot be same. So that means the eigenvalue of the Hermitian operator is real. Now let's come to the third one. So let's assume the Hermitian operator omega has, has a series or a collection of eigenfunctions psi 1, psi 2, psi 3 and for them for that they have the eigenvalues omega 1, omega 2, omega 3. Now this list can be finite or infinite. So to show that the these eigenfunctions can be organized to satisfy the orthonormality, we need to prove that their integral with two functions is equal to the delta function. So that means if i equals j, that means if these two functions are same, the result is 1. That is, they are, that is this function psi i is normalized. But if i is not equal j, then this is 0. That means they are overlap. The overlap of the two functions is 0. So, but the first one can be proved simply. So, we are not going to see that one. We will go to see that the, the overlap of two different functions is 0. So, for that, we assume that uh, we have two functions, psi i and psi z, and their eigenvalues are omega i, omega z. They are not same. That is, we have two different eigenvalues. Now, for that, we like to evaluate this integral or this product. So, if we do like this, we have uh, here the gamma, sorry, omega is acting on the second one. So, we write it like the, with the eigenvalues. Then we take the eigenvalue out. We have this product. But next, this time, we like to use the property of hermeticity. Since omega hat is Hermitian operator, we can take it to the uh, from the second function to the first one. So we have this one, and after evaluating, we have this one. Now here, this was complex uh, conjugate, but we know that eigenvalues are real, so it is the same as this one. Now we have evaluated this quantity or this product in two ways and they are different. So here it is omega j multiplied with psi i psi z. Here this is omega i. So this is same. The left side is same. So they need to be same. We can write it like this way. Now we have assumed that omega i is different than omega z. Now this is to be zero this quantity, the product of these two functions, need to be zero. That means their overlap is zero. So we have proven this one, the product of the two eigenfunctions is a delta function. If they are same, then this is one. If they are different, then this is zero. So the eigenfunctions of Hermitian operator can be organized to satisfy the orthonormality. Now, there is a problem with this one. If we have different functions giving the same eigenvalues, that is, we have degeneracy. In that case, we have to arrange the, the eigenfunction, degenerate eigenfunctions, so that they are mutually orthonormal. Now, let's come to the last one. So if gamma, sorry, omega hat has a set of eigenfunctions as we have seen, 
they can be used or they can be arranged that is their superposition can construct a wave function and uh, here alpha 1 alpha 2 are uh, coefficients they can this can be evaluated from this one from this integral so if we can do it simply so if we try to uh, take the integral here so chi is written here like with this notation so we do this now we have if we take the alpha z out we can this since this is a number we can take it out and we have this integration but we have seen that this is a delta function delta ij now when i and j are same this is one when they are different this is zero so we are left only with alpha i so we have proven all this so for a hermitian operator we satisfy this equation follows this set of rule the first the expectation value of the hermitian operator is real and their eigenvalues are also real and the eigenfunctions corresponds to for a hermitian uh, operator can be organized to satisfy orthonormality and these eigenfunctions or their superpositions can be used to construct a wave function okay in the next video we shall see some of the examples of hermitian operators that's all for today thank you